Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this semicircle that is inscribed in this given rectangle as you can see in this figure. And moreover, the line segment AE is 16. The line segment AF is 12. And now we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded region. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here is our action plan. The area of this green shaded region is equal to the area of this rectangle ABCD minus the area of this semicircle and minus the area of this triangle AEF. So our main task is going to find the line segment EB, this one over here, and the line segment DF before doing anything else. So let's get started and here's our very first step. We know that this rectangle ABCD is a rectangle and here's the definition of a rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees, the opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel. So therefore all these interior angles of this rectangle are 90 degrees each. Just keep in your mind. Now let's focus on this right triangle EAF over here and it represents a 3, 4, 5 right triangle and here's the definition of a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. A 3, 4, 5 right triangle is a triangle whose side lengths are in a ratio of 3, 4, and 5. And they are also called Pythagorean triples. And if you can see in this figure, we have this one 3, 4, 5 and A is a constant multiple. If we apply this same rule in our case, we have a 3, 4, and this quantity is going to be 5, and our constant multiple is 4 over here. So thus our EF length is going to be 5 times 4 equal to 20. And we also know that EF is also the diameter, so diameter is going to be 20 as well. So thus the radius of this semicircle is going to be 10. This is going to be 10 and this is going to be 10 again. And here's our next step. Let's draw a line segment MN that passes through this center O. And one more thing, MN is parallel to this line segment AB, and here N is our point of tangency. And as we can see that these two line segments, MN and AB, are parallel to each other, and this EF is a transversal. And here's the corresponding angles postulate. When two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the resulting corresponding angles are congruent. So therefore, this angle E and this angle O are congruent and they are corresponding angles. And moreover, this radius ON is perpendicular to this tangent line BC according to tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. So therefore this angle N is going to be 90 degrees and moreover this angle M has got to be 90 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this big triangle EAF and this smaller triangle OMF are similar triangles. According to angle, angle, angle theorem, if in two triangles corresponding angles are equal, then the triangles are said to be 
similar in our case this angle is equal to this angle they are corresponding angle this is a 90 degree angle and this is 90 as well and we know that the sum of the angles of any triangle are 180 degrees so this angle has got to be same as well so therefore this triangle OMF is, is also going to be 3 4 5 right triangle so therefore once again according to this 3 4 5 right triangle theorem our constant multiple is 2 this time so 10 is 5 times 2 here this is going to be a multiple of 2 and 2 and we have like a 3 4 5 so that means this is going to become 4 times 2 equals to 8 and this part is going to become 3 times 2 equal to 6 and here's our next step let's draw a line segment HP the perpendicular one you can see over here that passes through this center O and moreover this HP is parallel to this line segment AD so therefore this angle OFM and this angle EOP are equal since they are corresponding angles so therefore we conclude that this triangle EAF and this another triangle EPO are similar triangles according to this angle 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 theorem so therefore this triangle EPO is also a 3 4 5 right triangle so therefore in this triangle we can see that our constant multiplier is 2 this time so that is going to give us 3 times 2 is 6 4 times 2 is 8 and here it is 10 and here's our next step let's focus on this rectangle PBNO and we can see that this uh, NO and this PB these two side lengths are equal according to the definition of a rectangle and here I wrote down ON equals to PB and we know that this ON is simply the radius of this semicircle and moreover this PB this this PB if you look at this one this length is equal to this length PE plus EB that's what I wrote down PE plus EB so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case ON is 10 so 10 equal to PE in our case is 8 so just put down 8 plus EB so therefore our EB length turns out to be simply 2 and now let's focus on this another rectangle APHD and we can see that according to the definition of rectangle the side length PH is equal to this side length AD and now we can see this PH equals to this PH by the way this one the whole length equal to this HO plus this OP and we know this HO is just the radius of this semicircle which is 10 isn't it and this OP is simply 6 so I can write this thing a PH equal to HO is just the radius which is 10 and then plus OP is 6 so PH turns out to be 16 so we can write this one as AD equals to PH in our case equal to 16 and now let's focus on this side length AD as you can see in our case this side length 
ए डी इक्वल टू दिस साइड लेंथ डी एफ प्लस दिस लेंथ एफ ए बट वी नो दैट एफ ए इज ट्वेल्व गिवन टू अस सो देर फॉर दिस ए डी इक्वल्स टू डी एफ प्लस एफ ए इज ट्वेल्व सो आई नाउ आई कैन रिप्लेस दिस ए डी बाय दिस डी एफ प्लस ट्वेल्व दस टू दैट थिंग डी एफ प्लस ट्वेल्व इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन सो देर फोर आवर डी एफ वैल्यू इज गोइंग टू बी सिंपली फोर and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the length ab of this rectangle abcd and we know that ab equals to this ae plus eb and we know ae in our case is 16 plus eb in our case is 2 so therefore our ab this length of this rectangle turns out to be 18 now let's go ahead and calculate the width ad of this rectangle and we know that ad equals to df plus fa and in our case df is 4 plus fa is 12 so that means our ad the width turns out to be 16 now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this rectangle abcd and here's the area of a rectangle formula area equal to length time width and in our case length is 18 and width is 16 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks area equal to 18 times 16 and if we multiply it we are going to get area equals to 288 now let's calculate the area of this semi circle and here's the area of a circle formula a equal to pi r square and since we are dealing with the semi circle so we are going to divide it by Two and in our case, radius r is ten units. So this area of the semicircle is going to be pi r. In our case, is ten and then square divided by two. So that is going to be one hundred pi divided by two means area turns out to be fifty pi. and now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle eaf and here's the area of a triangle formula a half time base time height in our case base is 16 and height is 12 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so area is going to be a half time base is 16 times height is 12 and if we simplify that one that is going to give us 96 the area and here's our final step the area of this green region equal to area of this rectangle abcd minus the area of this semicircle and minus the area of this triangle so thus the green area turns out to be this 288 for this area of rectangle minus 50 pi the area of semicircle minus 96 the area of this triangle and if we simplify that one the green area turns out to be 192 minus 50 pi and if we replace pi by 3.14 our area is approximately equal to 35 square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye